A new enhancement in AutoCAD 2013 for path arrays is the ability to grip edit your measure control. Let's see how this works. So we'll go ahead and select a path array that's already been formed. And we'll notice here that this one has been formed using what is called a measured distance between the array elements at 3000 units. But you'll notice that from the base point formed of the array to the first measured interval, there's now a gripping point. So this can be easily selected like this and dragged so that the measured distance between the array elements can now be done graphically. And this distance will always be traversed along the three-dimensional curve that was formed. We'll then see whatever that measured distance is fed back into the ribbon element up top here for the item spacing. So obviously you could use any sort of intersecting entity, uh, object snap controls, however it is that you would like to grab where that point is. Now you can still override this very easily by simply keying into the appropriate cell here within the ribbon and the associative array will reform and re-preview as we would expect. But the ability to do this with grip editing is pretty slick. And as alluded to in a prior segment, we now have the ability to not only measure the distance between the array elements, but we can also use the divide control. And this would allow us to divide the array into equivalent segments and it would thus compute the distance between for us. An alternate way to perform editing on the path array is to select the grippable point and rather than dragging to achieve spacing between the items along the path, you right click and use the item spacing toggle, which allows you to directly enter the distance at the command line rather than having to go up here to the ribbon. You'll achieve the same functionality it's just a matter of preference as to which one you prefer to use. This functionality has been updated and is a lot friendlier to use in AutoCAD 2013. So even if you've tried it in AutoCAD 2012, go in and have a look at this. I think you'll find it to be easier, more intuitive to use.